This is breaking news from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Thanks for joining us here at Noon Today. A generation of young people shaped by gun violence are taking action. Waves of students from New York City to Seattle, Washington, D.C., and right here in Indiana walked out of their classrooms at 10 o'clock today. They stayed outside for 17 minutes, one minute for every victim of the Florida school shooting. This protest started by the students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, and then quickly spread. Thanks for being here with us today. I'm Matt McCutcheon in for Scott Swan. We had our eyewitness news cameras at several schools schools in central Indiana as students peacefully walked out of class. Our Rich Van Wyk is live at Broad Ripple High School right now with a look at this historic day. Rich. Matt, the principal here at Broad Ripple High School told me he figured seven out of ten students would participate in this protest this morning. It was short, trouble-free, and meaningful for the people who participated in it. Precisely at 10 a.m., hundreds of students walked out of class remembering the 17 students and adults who were murdered in a mass shooting in Parkland, Florida. During the 17-minute protest, the names of the 17 students and adults were read aloud. Students organized the protest themselves. School administrators stood back and made sure everyone stayed safe. The nationwide protest is intended to memorialize the victims and turn up the volume on calls to change gun laws and make schools safer. It's very emotional because I'm just thinking of all the lives lost. And, you know, even though it didn't happen to me, it could have been any of us. I believe it won't make a direct difference as changing legislation would, but I believe that it will raise awareness for our cause, get more people talking about it, to speak out about our flawed gun laws. On the other side of Indianapolis, the other side of downtown, about 100 students from George Washington Community School lined Washington Street. They held up their homemade signs to passing traffic. Leading up to today, students, we're told, have been reading about and discussing the issues of school violence as well as today's protest. On the far north side at North Central High School, there was another student-led walkout. Hundreds of students there walked away from class and protested peacefully. School administrators from several districts told me they wanted to stay neutral today and keep away from the heated political issue of gun control. Their job, they told me, was to make sure students stayed safe and were protected from people who perhaps disagreed with their opinions and might try to harm them. School districts I told, I talked to most, if not all, explained to me that if students walked out of class, they weren't disruptive and they followed the boundaries, the guidelines set up by the school and went back to class, Matt, they wouldn't be disciplined, they wouldn't get in any trouble. A lot to keep track of. Thank you for breaking it all down for us. Our Rich Van White reporting live today. He'll have more at 5 o'clock. Also this noon, in Greenwood High School this morning, about 50 students also chose to walk out. We were kept far back from the school near the street, but were able to capture these images of students holding a balloon release. 17 balloons, one for each victim of the Florida school shooting. They also held a banner that said, quote, everyone who goes to school in the morning should come home safe in the evening.